Hi, I'm John Schroeder, and welcome to another edition of Casey Clips. A subscriber recently posted a comment on a Casey Clips video entitled, When Bad Things Happen to Good People. She started by thanking us for sharing our understanding of what the Edgar Casey readings had to say on the subject. Also in her post, a question came up about reconciling the law of karma, which I'll quickly define as we reap everything we sow, with the conflict that it seems to appear with, with the law of grace, quickly defined as we no longer suffer through the karma we've built once we've truly learned our lesson. This appears to be a paradox at first glance, and that's what I want to talk about today. Jesus spoke of the law of karma, referring to the Mosaic law of an eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. Jesus also confirmed that not one jot or one tittle shall in no case pass under the law until all is fulfilled. Now to me, this sounds like the incredibly merciful law of grace doesn't fit well with the reaping everything that we've sown law of karma. So let's analyze why it appears these two universal laws run counter to each other. I'm never one to avoid a tough example. So let's use Adolf Hitler and the karma that is due to him for the choices he made during World War II. Hitler is responsible for killing millions of people in some of the most horrific ways imaginable. One way to interpret the law of karma is that the soul we know as Hitler will indeed have to suffer millions of horrible deaths in recompense for the evil choices he made. Most of us reflecting on this would simply say, good, I think he deserves everything he gets. However, the law of grace indicates if Hitler truly learns this lesson after, let's say, the first couple of horrible deaths and will not make the same mistakes again in the future, then he will no longer have to suffer through the remaining karma of the millions of deaths he lawfully still has coming to him. This didn't sit well with me for many years, and I really didn't know how to reconcile the two laws given in the Edgar Casey reading. I was meditating on this very concept a while back, and the answer finally came to me. I remembered seeing the movie Gandhi with Ben Kingsley in the lead role. I pondered upon who Gandhi might have been in a past life to have saved so many people through his leadership during the time when India claimed its independence from Great Britain. Gandhi's preference for nonviolent civil disobedience instead of the usual violent alternatives not only worked, it also saved millions of lives by choosing that less popular path. If you haven't made the connection yet, I'm suggesting that once the soul who was Adolf Hitler understands the mistakes he made in World War II and vows to never do that again, he may well be given an opportunity to come back in a future life and perhaps do for other people what Gandhi did for India. In my opinion, Hitler could be born as a leader in the future and choose to save millions of lives by following a non-violent path. Isn't that an interesting way to reconcile the karma Hitler sowed in World War II? He can account for each past murder through love, rather than suffering the same horrors he brought to so many. In this way, the law of karma is fulfilled because Hitler still must account for every jot and tittle required by the law. Every life he took is paid for by every future life he saves. The law of grace is also fulfilled because the soul that was Hitler no longer suffers the horrors of his karma once he learns his lesson and starts saving lives instead of killing people. Imagine the joy and love Gandhi experienced when his shared dream of independence became a reality despite the great odds against it. Now, it's easy to get caught up in not wanting anything good to happen to Adolf Hitler. But what if we discovered that Gandhi had been a vicious killer in a previous life, like Attila the Hun or Genghis Khan? Would we not more easily accept Gandhi as a beloved child of God despite such a violent past because of what he has accomplished since then? I'm not saying that Gandhi is either of those people in a past life, but an important point is made this way. It is much easier to forgive after someone has learned their lesson and proved it than it is beforehand. We can find peace and comfort in the faith that karma and grace work together in perfect harmony for all of God's children. That's it for this edition of Casey Clips. We truly appreciate your comments and suggestions for future topics to cover. Until next time, remember that God loves you with an everlasting love.